Thanks to the Power of Multimedia Fusion 2.5, I managed to uh, make a small physics game, small, racing, somewhat just racing game. And right now, this tutorial is going to show you how I managed to do all this. Okay, and we're of course we're going to start from scratch. Uh, one thing I'm going to bring in just from my other game is this little truck thing right here because I don't feel like redrawing it and it would just be simpler one other thing I will need um, first thing you need to do when you use the new physics engine is to bring the physics engine into your game and put it on outside here um, I didn't need to modify anything um, Basically, I'm remaking this tutorial I seen online on YouTube for the physics engine that you just saw. Thing about that is, I'll show you while we're making our tires. Just go ahead and start making your tire. Um, yes, the tutorial itself was entirely in French. And, you know, I figured, okay, I'll try my best to translate this and... I managed to and I decided to just make an English version just real quick okay make that black make that white and if you want just crop that Ooh, one important thing uh, action spots and hot spots yeah just center that make it smaller that's like way too big yeah so the tire isn't exactly center but just really need to be and then just duplicate it that way you know both tires do the exact same thing yep and once you resize it um extra spots stay exactly where you left them now here's the next uh, physics engine we need or just physics um, object is the joint to connect the tires to the truck I don't think they had to be connected to the truck, so let's just put them in the middle. If you've seen, uh, if you remember my video of the uh, my truck that I just previously showed you, um, you saw the tires weren't exactly spinning in the center, and um, yeah, that was a bit weird. Hopefully, they still follow the truck. Now let's see. You're gonna want to click on the joint or. No, you're wanna, gonna wanna click on the tire. Yeah, and uh, you're gonna wanna make it uh, static movement, physics static movement. You see that whole line for uh, Multimedia 2.5. That is an awesome addition. Important, the hotspot of an object with a physical movement must be positioned at the center of the mass of the object. And that is important. Now, I didn't need to touch all this, but uh, except down here, the lizard shape should be a circle with smooth rotations, if I'm correct. Let me just uh, check back over here. And, uh, yep, circle, auto rotation, smooth rotations. And, okay, we got that. Now, I bring in that backdrop, but it won't take long to just make your own. Insert backdrop. Resize. I'm using 640 by uh, 320, I suppose. So clear. And there we go. and crop it I suppose you don't need to but you know it's there if you want it okay 
Sorry, I'm a perfectionist. But that is perfect. Okay, now what we need to do is another physics uh, object is ground. If you see the little ball with the uh, connected dots down there, you know, just grab that and bring it in. Now we're going to want to duplicate, I suppose. Don't copy that, bring in a lot more joint objects. Okay, and we just do that and just move them over like, I don't know, I just did it wherever there was a point or a hill or whatever. Just made a lot of things simple and easy. Okay, oh, that'll be cool. So, yeah. Now we're going to want to go into the event editor for editing. Now, when this active object collides with the backdrop, you're going to want to stop the tire movement. Oh, and uh, also uh, just test the position of this and make it stop so that it doesn't go out of the screen. Unless the right side which uh, we'll get into later. And now let's see what we're gonna do. Um, oh, okay, always. Um, frame position, no, scroll lengths. Center window position and relative to, so that the camera always follows the truck, no matter where it goes. Okay. Now let's just test it and make sure the tires touch the ground. And there we go. Accomplished. Now for the movement. Which is kind of weird because um, I managed to uh, get the uh, vehicle moving. But, well, you're going to see. Okay, now the tires. Um, movement. Physics. Apply force. By let's say 75, that's what I had in my little game thing. You can have it whatever you want. Enter the was it zero? I think it was. Yep, zero degrees. Yep, now edit that. Left arrow. Let's just drag this down and put in negative 75 degrees for when it's moving backwards. With zero angle in degrees. I'm not sure what the angle in degrees is about, but um, we'll just take care of that. You know, just don't worry about it now. Okay, and upon pressing right, the vehicle moves automatically. No, 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 no. <laughs> Whoops. Let's just start that again. Sorry about that. Um. So yeah, I don't. So you can only move forwards or backwards depending on, uh, you know, however you, uh, yeah. So with the apply force thing, um, as it showed in the demo or not demo tutorial, the tutorial I saw when I correctly, um, translated it, this is how he did it. And once you play the game, you know, it just, yeah. So basically you can only move left or right and uh, you can't apply how much or how far you want to go, which kind of sucks. But if you press the down arrow, you can, uh, physics, you can, let's see, stop force. Now this won't exactly stop your vehicle immediately, it'll just slow it down. Now. I pressed the down button. The vehicle stopped applying force, but you know, it's still moving. So basically that's it. Um, you know, you can save it if you want. But um, here I'll just show you what I got so far in my game. Whereas in I added a lot more uh, stuff to it. And that's just pretty much it. 
I thank you for watching. If you really like this tutorial, please give it a like. And please subscribe for more tutorials. Um, thanks for watching. And Tavian of Ghost Data Fortress Entertainment, out.